Hi everybody, it's Sarah Asquith Balance. Welcome to the Empowered Mind Show. So this week we have a really great topic and it's all about why the law of attraction does not work for 99% of um, business entrepreneurs, business coaches. Um, if you are new to my work, welcome. Um, as I said, my name is Sarah asquith Valance. I am a neuroscientist, business strategist, and founder of the Empowered Mind Academy. So it's my job to help you unleash your genius. You have a hundred million dollar brain, um, and us entrepreneurs need to learn how to use it. So so if you are looking for more clients that you love to work with, if you want to increase your confidence, increase your cash flow, if you want to bust through any money mindset blocks to get you to the annual or monthly figure that you are looking to achieve um, so you can absolutely live the life that you are here and destined and desired to have, then welcome. You are in exactly the right place. So. As I say, today we are talking about why the law of attraction doesn't work, unfortunately, <clears throat> correctly, for about 99% of business entrepreneurs and business coaches. Um, I like to actually call it the law of resonance. So when you have a desire, when you have a goal um, that you want for your business, um, you kind of have to resonate with that goal which is why I always talk about bringing in the feelings, uh, being on the frequency of that particular energy of that goal. So as it's always an interactive class, do drop below and tell me what, what goal do you have at the moment? What are you really wanting to manifest that you are actually struggling with um, and finding really difficult? So um, what we find is that when we start to, uh, to desire something in our business, and it could be so many clients a month, it could be so much income a month, <clears throat> we do start to vibrate on that frequency. And we have to start to vibrate in that frequency because we have to start to embody the person who is able to achieve that. Um, so, but it's very, very difficult to just hold it in your conscious mind. It takes a lot of willpower and a lot of energy. And if you've followed me for any length of time, you will know that I don't recommend working on willpower because there's only about two, uh, two hours roughly of willpower a day that our brains can cope with. So it takes a lot of energy and that energy does dissipate. So when we are working from our conscious brain, which is amazing, it's the part of our brain that comes up with all the really great ideas, um, <clears throat> but we cannot just hold it there with willpower, okay? So we have to, um, the desire comes from our conscious brain, but um, we, and that's the part where we have the deductive reasoning. So you get to choose whatever you want. OK, you get to choose whatever you want with your conscious brain. That is the part of your brain that is working day to day in your business. OK, when you come up with all those great ideas for that next program and that, that coaching program is going to be amazing and you're going to fill it with so many people. OK, this is the conscious brain. However, what is really happening when you don't manifest it, when you aren't seeing the results, is because you haven't got um, the hundred trillion cells in your body vibrating, uh, coming from the area of the subconscious brain. You need to get your conscious brain and your subconscious brain in complete alignment okay you can do that it is possible if you aren't seeing the results don't worry it is so doable so the crazy the question is <clears throat> why don't people achieve um what they want using the law of attraction because to be honest it's part of the work that i do but it's only a very very small part of the work um, it's a very important part of the work, but we also need to work on a different aspect as well. So um, I find people <clears throat> when I speak with uh, my clients and they'll say, yeah, but I've been thinking positively and I have to say it's really, really great. OK, because that is part of your conscious brain. That is the one where it comes up with all the amazing and great ideas. However, 
and um, there's more to it than just thinking positively okay because you're still running a neural program you're still having neural pathways in your brain of what you are on autopilot we need to take you off autopilot we need to change those brain pathways we need to change that subconscious belief because <clears throat> however positive you're thinking you also have those past um, beliefs and behaviors and habits that are getting in the way and if you imagine you're plowing a new ski track and it's brand new and nobody's ever done that before that's your conscious brain with that amazing new idea <clears throat> your subconscious brain is like the really well-worn furrows um, in the snow and it's just your brain just goes to what is so much easier when you're looking to change something you bring fear into the equation whether you feel it or not it's fearful for your brain um, and that holds you back so if you're aiming for that six figures and you're still not achieving it and you're doing as I hear lovely people say I'm doing all the manifesting I'm doing all the visualizing I'm, I'm working the law of attraction and it's still not working and the problem is <clears throat> you are running two neural pathways in your brain or you're trying to run two neural pathways in your brain so <clears throat> what I invite you to do um, if you're not currently doing it is to really really hunker down into the mindset work but it's very very specific okay it's not just let's do more affirmations we need to remove that first that old pathway that subconscious really deep furrowed one and we need to then also bring in the new pathway, the one that allows you to achieve, allows you to manifest, allows you to embody that vibration that you are currently feeling when you come up with that great business idea. So we need to line the two up. When the two are lined up, it's called a cohesive pattern. We need to have that cohesive pattern running all through your being okay not just a good idea that you hold with willpower um we need to actually start to really really get it deep deep into your subconscious now it does take a little bit of time but it is very easy it's also very repetitive our, our brain loves repetition um so i'm gonna ask you are you just feel like you're trying so hard is everything so difficult because the reason is why it's so difficult my lovelies is because you are running just on that subconscious brain and you are battling so hard against the subconscious um so what i invite you to do today is to develop a plan i want you to get really really crystal clear on uh what you want to to be able to achieve to be really clear on where you are now and your beliefs and your thoughts um, and where you want to actually go because there is a path there is steps that you have to take you have to do right actions in the right order um, if you need any support on this do not hesitate to get in touch you know exactly where you can find me and I will drop the link below as well um, if that has resonated with you today and you want to learn more um, then I do have some free 30 minute sessions um, but yeah if, if this is called to you if you know somebody who needs to hear this message today please do like please do share please do pass it on because when we all rise up when we all learn this work when we all start to reprogram and retrain our brains for business success and financial success the world will then be transformed as well so I want to thank you so much for joining me today um, and I will catch up with you very very soon next time take care bye now